सो नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू बिगिन विथ ए न्यू एरिया इन कैपिटल बजटिंग कॉल्ड एस एडवांस टेक्निक्स इन कैपिटल बजटिंग प्रोजेक्ट्स सो वेन आई से एडवांस टेक्निक्स इन कैपिटल बजटिंग प्रोजेक्ट अगेन द लर्निंग ऑब्जेक्टिव स्टैंड एज अंडर these are all the concepts we need to learn one by one first read and get fainted first one is one sensitivity analysis second one inflation in capital budgeting third one abandonment decision third one uh, fourth one replacement decision fifth one base case npv adjusted npv next probability analysis next one certainty equivalent approach next one risk adjusted discount rate next one simulation technique next one decision tree approach last one miscellaneous all other concepts will be there hiller's model and all those things listen in this what comes in examination very frequently if you ask me the frequent question that is tested in examination is inflation what is it inflation <laughs> after that decision tree after that replacement after that base case npv and adjusted npv remaining are also tested but coming for four to five marks only listening simply in your language i have to tell hard concepts difficult concepts to understand rank one goes to decision tree order of ranking if i have to do rank 1 decision tree why decision tree is difficult not because it is difficult it is because it is difficult because people don't know how to interpret probabilities how to interpret ah uh, mental mass probability just exam la questions adu manaku artham gaadu vadi emadutunadu so that is the first task how to understand the probabilities given in the question are they given joint probability how they given the cumulative probability how they given both of them together first picking up correct probability number is a difficult task because of its concept became very difficult listening but in the class i will make you learn that's why na all difficult concept first i will start that's why i start not with replacement decision or other small small bachcha nikra concepts first directly let us hit the decision tree and inflation let us complete them then we will come to the remaining concepts listening so first let us hit the difficult ones first start started directly take up inflation next capital budgeting uh, with uh, uh, decision tree listening uh, once they were completed then we will come to bachcha concepts certainty equivalent rad or all these are five five minutes concept clear yeah? so two techniques are three techniques are very difficult in this area number one decision tree number two inflation number three replacement high number of times asked the question obviously it is from inflation clear everyone we will also do two three types of questions on inflation lo are you are you with me however it is not in this chapter in this chapter inflation questions are easy inflation concept we will learn here another chapter we are going to start immediately after this what is it ah uh, in forex you will get international capital budgeting సార్ ఏం ఎఫ్ మొత్తం క్యాపిటల్ బస్టింగ్ ఉంది ఎక్కడ చూసినా దే విల్ బి లైక్ దట్ ఓన్లీ ఎంటైర్ ఎఫ్ ఎం సబ్జెక్ట్ ఇఫ్ యూ సీ మోస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ద పార్ట్స్ విల్ బి క్యాపిటల్ బస్టింగ్ క్యాపిటల్ బస్టింగ్ ఈస్ ద వన్ ఆఫ్ ద మోస్ట్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ కాన్సెప్ట్ ఇన్ ద ఎంటైర్ ఫినాన్స్ మేనేజ్మెంట్ యాజ్ ఎ సబ్జెక్ట్ గా దిస్ ఈస్ ద హార్ట్ అండ్ సోల్ క్యాపిటల్ బస్టింగ్ టూ చాప్టర్స్ యా ఎంటైర్ వరల్డ్ ఆఫ్ ఫినాన్స్ విల్ రన్ అరౌండ్ టూ సబ్జెక్ట్స్ టూ టాపిక్స్ ఇన్ ఫినాన్స్ నెంబర్ వన్ capital budgeting number 2 portfolio theories and asset pricing models seriously i am telling you if you still that capital budgeting is a high range concept that we learned this will be 1% of portfolio chapter imagine how it will be seriously i am telling you if you see this central process finance is super sir if you tell exaggeration will be 1% of portfolio chapter so portfolio chapter the moment it starts moment it ends 35 40 hours it will be taken to complete portfolio theories every model will be like a climax 
ఇష్ట్లు దెబ్బ మీద దెబ్బ ప్రతి సీన్ క్లైమాక్స్ లో ఉంటుంది పూర్ట్ పోలియో ఎక్స్ట్రీమ్లీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ చాప్టర్ యాజ్ వెల్ బికాస్ ద డ్యామ్ షో ట్వంటీ మార్క్స్ విల్ కమ్ ఇన్ ఎగ్జామ్ సో దేర్ ఫోర్ ఎక్స్ట్రీమ్లీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ చాప్టర్ ఇన్ యోర్ సిలబస్ విల్ బి పోర్ట్ ఫోలియో థియరీస్ అండ్ అసెట్ ప్రైసింగ్ మోడల్స్ క్లియర్ సో బిఫోర్ గోయింగ్ ఇన్ టు ఆల్ దోస్ ఫస్ట్ లెట్ అస్ కంప్లీట్ దిస్ లిసన్ హౌ వీ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు ప్రొసీడ్ ఫార్ అడ్వాన్స్ ద క్యాపిటల్ బడ్జెటింగ్ లిసన్ ఫస్ట్ వీ విల్ కంప్లీట్ సెల్ఫ్ మేడ్ ఇలస్ట్రేషన్స్ విచ్ ఇలస్ట్రేషన్ మీన్స్ ఐ డి మేక్ ఇట్ యాక్చువల్లీ ఐ హ్యావ్ టేకెన్ ఫ్రమ్ ఎ గుడ్ బుక్స్ అండ్ ఐ పుట్ ద క్వశ్చన్స్ ఇయర్ నాట్ ఫ్రమ్ ఐసీఐ నీ ఫ్రమ్ ద సిఎంఏ ఐ డి టేక్ ఎనీ ఆఫ్ ద లోకల్ ఇన్స్టిట్యూట్ క్వశ్చన్స్ ఐ హ్యావ్ టేకెన్ సమ్ ఫారెన్ ఆఫర్ క్వశ్చన్స్ ఐ కెప్ దేర్ ఎవ్రీ టాపిక్ స్టార్ట్ ఫ్రమ్ ద ఫస్ట్ వన్ వాట్ ఇస్ ద ఫస్ట్ వన్ వి ఆర్ నాట్ గోయింగ్ టు స్టార్ట్ విత్ సెన్సిటివిటీ లెట్స్ టేక్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ వాట్ ఇస్ ద ఫస్ట్ వన్ వి విల్ టేక్ ఎ సెన్సిటివిటీ క్వశ్చన్ I will first give you one self illustrated question there we will do on that all these models first we will complete my illustrations after the 27 institute illustrations again we will do listening ah uh, if you do my illustration how easy it will be to do these institute local institute illustrations you should understand am i clear what about what about we will complete those concepts if you do illustration what i give you clear everyone i will show you an example for you to understand see here i have clearly noted here what is that all an author it's taken from the cma us book It's not cma india like cma how cma is there for india there is also us institute cma us cma us book la one question is there i found this question from the becker's publication good question this is the worst way recentry question can come in exam because this question is having cumulative probability and joint probability see the answer just like that see the screen here the question this is the question that's all over question is over analyze the project first i have given the analysis of the entire question basic recentry probability applied recentry final decision tree again not yet completed final conclusion adi that question a will take around 2 hours time so like that question can come for 14 marks in exam when you practice practice those type of questions okay uh, so before we start keep the heading learning objectives one more time please write down keep the heading advanced capital budgeting so we completed basic capital budgeting techniques we are now running into advanced capital budgeting techniques more important for exam
completed. In that capital budgeting didn't come right. Uh, 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 derivative options and features they have given. I'll talk with them. But anyway, anyway, the discussion what we are going to make for today and tomorrow is in no way related to the questions there. I told you, self-made illustrations are there. So no worry. We have to do what the working now. So see here. These are all the learning objectives of second part of capital budgeting called as advanced techniques in capital budgeting. Please. Shall we? See the screen. First one. The first concept before we start, these are all the various techniques we are going to use. See the screen. In this chapter, we are going to learn the following. First one, inflation in capital budgeting. Please see the learning objectives in a different way. Tell me what is the first one? Inflation in capital budgeting. Next one, techniques in capital budgeting. Which techniques? Advanced techniques. Read the list. First one, which type of technique? Statistics we will use in some techniques in that there are three concepts. Read the three concepts. First one, probability analysis, variance and standard deviation analysis. Last one, coefficient of variation. This is called as statistical methodology or statistical techniques. Next one, read conventional technique. Over a long period of time, people are following those. Don't question those techniques. That's the meaning of convention. Okay, traditional way. Conventional techniques means over a time, tried and tested rules. So we should not question those. Those are called as conventional. Listening or not everyone? A, B, C, D. Why only B after A? Why not B, A, C, D? It's a convention of alphabet order. Convention means what? Over a period of time, people are following that. Don't question that rule. That's a point inside. Listening or not? Okay. See there. That, that is a conventional technique. In the conventional, two techniques are there. Read. Number one. Risk adjusted discount rate, RADR. Second one, second one, certainty equivalent. Number two, next, come to the last one. What is the last one? Miscellaneous, again, there are how many types? Sir? See, four types will be there. Number one, sensitivity, scenario, simulation, decision tree. Listening, everyone. In that simulation, two technique, basic simulation and Monte Carlo simulation. Actually, basic simulation is not there in our syllabus. Understanding say, I have written basic, we have only Monte Carlo simulation. Okay, how Monte Carlo simulation will work, I will tell you when we come there. But that concept here, if it is difficult, I will only tell. Decision tree, paralysis, I told you. Understood, inflation, semi paralysis, I told you. If it is a paralysis topic, I will only tell you. Simulation, Nikkar topic. That's not so great. But those are easy. When traffic is easy, I will only tell this is very easy, extremely easy. You need not worry about it. Simulation, sensitivity, scenario analysis, RADR, certainty equivalent, sensitivity and no worry. If at all there is a paralysis, that is because of decision tree. Understood? Uh, separately, we will discuss about that. In our class, how we are going to deal with? See the screen. Sequence of study. Tell me. Replacement and abandonment decision first. Next, inflation in capital budgeting. Next, special techniques in capital budgeting we will start. Shall we go in the way? Write down this. Write down this chart properly. You should know all the techniques in a proper sequence. basics in this chapter we are going to learn the following
completed writing Completed. Also write down the sequence of study, replacement and abandonmentation, inflation, special techniques in capital budgeting. Placement and abandonmentation, inflation in capital budgeting, special techniques. So replacement and abandonment decision, inflation, special techniques. Okay, next. So first one. Complete up to here. Uh, see here now. First technique we are going to start is replacement decision. Once a replacement decision is completed, we go to inflation. Thereafter, we go to the other special techniques inside the concept of capital budgeting. Before going into that, see the screen once. Okay, see here. So please, sir, I can't anyway start with the concept now. I think you are having another session continuing after this. 11.50 now. 11? 11.50 now. Ah, that's why I cannot anyway start with a new concept now. So before going into that, first let me tell you what is this replacement decision as a summary. Give me five minutes, I will first complete the idea behind this replacement decision listen replacement decision please listen everyone replacement decision is a concept where you will be given a company with machinery inside that company because of its manufacturing process listen whenever i talk about a factory factory requires machines machine is required for one era two era three era perpetual Again, repeat the concept, point number one. If there is a company, plant and machinery or fixed assets are required for one era, two era, three era, perpetual. I require a machinery for perpetual period. But same machinery I can't use till perpetuity. Because the machinery will have a life. Listening everyone. For example, let's take a, as simple as a normal example. I require an iPad to take the classes. How many years? Perpetual I will take. Means I don't know when I will end. That's a perpetuity meaning. So try to understand clearly. Till I take, I need this. Perpetual period, I need an iPad. Okay? But this, this iPad I can't use for perpetual period. 
listening or not everyone that means listen carefully what i am going to tell therefore we have to replace this ipad with another ipad after some number of years listening everyone start from the beginning again what decision we are going to take now replacement decision what is this replacement decision a company require machinery for perpetual period but same machinery can't be used over perpetual period because machinery will have a life Tata Iron and Steel Company Limited is using its machinery for around 100 years it is using it correct or not 1904 Tisco started in India now we are running 2024 120 years already completed still they are using the machinery or not when I say still they are using machinery they are using same machine which they purchased in 1904 no they are using a different machinery but machinery is there so tell me Tisco like companies require machinery for one year or two year or perpetually loudly but the same machine can't be used for perpetual period means what they have to do at respect to periods replace the old one get the new one as per the technology or other changes listening which period if you replace repeat what i said which period if you replace will give you higher inflow is the correct time when the company has to replace it i will give you example Use common sense if any and tell the answer. Life of the asset is 5 years. Life of the asset? Loudly. Life of the asset? Use common sense if any and answer. That's why I told you very clearly. Okay? This is the asset test for your common sense. Tell me. Life of asset is 5 years. Life of asset is? All the 5 years it will give inflows. All the 5 years it will give inflows. Now answer my question. First year cost of maintenance, second year cost and repairs and maintenance, which will be more? Second year will be more. Sir, if you purchase a car now, maintenance expenses will be more in first year, in coming years. Sir. Coming years, likewise, machinery also if you purchase, heavy cost will not be there at the beginning of its operation. It will be there in the coming years of operation. Correct? So tell me, when the longevity of usage of machinery increases, what will also increase? Loudly? Huh? Repairs and maintenance. Cost of maintenance, we call it. What it is? Cost of maintenance will increase or decrease? Second, inflows also will increase. Because if you use a machinery for one year, you will get one year inflow. If you use a machinery for two years, you will get two years inflows. Understood the point or not? Answer, yeah. If I give you iPad, ask you to write the notes as neat as what I wrote. It may be difficult for you at the beginning stage. But go on writing, the learning effect will come. Clear? Same machinery, today it came. People don't understand how to operate the machine. But years passed by. Same machinery, the techniques the people will learn. How to bring dust out of that machinery, people will uh, know about it and they will start working on that. You have seen it in the, in the learning curve. Which curve? You might have heard about this, na? learning effect, learning curve ratio, LCRs will be there. 70%, 80%, 90% like that, uh, learning curve ratios will be given. You will take cumulative hours, total hours, cumulative hours and you will calculate the learning effect or learning percentage. Using the logarithms. Same. Here that much a learning curve he don't give in question. But the point is, as the number of years of usage of machinery is increasing, learning effect will help you to give more cash inflows. More cash? So start again from the beginning. As the asset life is passing by, repairs and maintenance will increase. As the life of the machine is passing by, cash flows also will increase. So, for simultaneous increase in cost, inflows also will go. But the problem is, when you use machinery for one year and sell, scrap value will be more. Sir, I purchased a car worth 15 lakhs. I, I used it for 1000 kilometers. I sold it. How many kilometers? 1000 kilometers I worked it. I sold immediately. 10 days later, I sold it. Okay? Now tell me, I can expect at least 13 lakhs out of it. 
utilize 20,000 kilometers. I can't expect more than 12 lakhs to or 11 lakhs to 10 lakhs. Correct or not? I use for 2 lakh kilometers. You can't expect more than 3, 4 lakhs now. As and when the machinery is used for a long period, what value will come down? Salvage values will come down. Listening, uh, keeping in mind inflows, scrap, repairs and maintenance, we need to tell what is the right time to replace the machine. Not right value. Right time to replace the machine. What is the right time? You should replace after one year, after two years, after three years, after four years, after five years. You have to tell. That's why this concept became difficult. Here we are not going to do NPV. Here we are not going to do IRR. Here we are not going to do any cash flow analysis. Here it is a timing. What it is? Timing of? Loudly. Timing of? When to replace is a question now. Listening? Okay. Question looks this way. Sample question I will show you. You need not write anything. Afternoon session, after the break only, I will discuss about it. They will give like this. Just a question you see. Example. What is the discount rate? Uh, what are the cash flow details? First tell me what is the life? What is the life? Very good. Outlay? Outlay. Okay, tell me. What is the revenue for the first year? Machine is weared and teared. Therefore, revenue got reduced to 800 in the second year. Further, it was reduced to 700. Cost, 400, 350 and 350. Maintenance cost was reduced now in the question. Don't question that. Follow. Next, the scrap. 650, 400, 150. You understand why scrap has reduced. As and when you use the machinery, what will happen? Scrap value will also fall. Okay, This is a question he has given. He is asking, what is the right time of replacement? Everyone, what is the? Everyone loudly, what is the right time of replacing the machine? First year ending, second year ending, third year ending, you have to tell that. How to do that is a subject matter of discussion. I have given a full length analysis, holding period analysis, cash flow analysis, like that I have done and I completed it. So what we will do is, in the afternoon session, once we start, first we are going to start first with the replacement decision. Once it done, then we go to inflation in capital budgeting. Once it done, we will go to the decision tree in capital budgeting. So today, what are the three targets? First one is inflation. Replacement. Second one, inflation. Third one, decision tree. At any cost in the today's session, we have to complete these three. Okay. Once these three are completed, tomorrow's session will complete capital budgeting fully. 100% capital budgeting will complete. We will take up the second unit called as Forex. Clear? Yeah. Thank you. We will meet in the afternoon session.